Hey guys, so welcome to your mobility workout. So first off, we have wide stance squats. Toes are pointed out. Your feet are much wider um, than your usual squat. Also looks like a sumo squat. So what you want is your toes pointed 45 degrees. Drive your knees out hard, as hard as possible, so you feel your glute squeezing. The idea of this is that you'll feel a stretch on the inside of your thighs, around your groin area. See me pointing out with my hands now in the direction. When you're down the bottom, you also want to pause for three or four seconds. Move over and back slightly so you get a deeper stretch. The next one is known as the world's greatest stretch. Um, don't know why it's called this, but this is what it looks like. So simply, is you're in a split position. As you can see, you're from the side. One leg is in front of the other. The shin and the front leg is straight. Your knee is driven out towards the camera. And the back leg is straight. Elbow goes down the inside, stretching out the left hamstring, as seen in the video. Gonna reach up and turn so you feel your thoracic spine as well opening up. Next up, guys, is you have um, what's known as a cat stretch, which is seen in a lot of um, yoga and Pilates studios. So in this position, with your toes pressing to the ground, knees and hands at the ground, you're basically just going to, as you can see, curve your spine, really try and tuck your pelvis up towards your chest, massive arch in your back, or bump in your back, and then you're going to go back down and then arch your back again, looking up. The next stretch up, guys, is to loosen out your hips. You want everything at 90 degrees. What you're trying to do here, guys, is on the front leg and with my left arm, you can see me putting that into my knee. Then I'm trying to get my chest down towards my foot. Again, maintaining 90 degrees with the knee, the hips, and the back leg as well. In this position as well, guys, you can work the back, by, back leg, back hip, by sitting upright. Rolling that hip back and forward, you'll feel it on the inside of your left thigh as pointed out. I'm pushing my hip with my left hand just to really drive that into the ground and open up that hip. Again, from the, this view, you can also see me trying to get down towards my chest. Driving the knee into the ground now and again and also breathing in for five seconds and breathing out. It's one of the better stretches that I've found for my hips and open up my lower back as well. So see here, you can see my hand pointing down. I'm driving my knee into the ground and then I'm breathing out, relaxing and getting deeper into the stretch. As you can see, now I can get a little bit deeper. Next up then, guys, is basically you're just going to twist over. This is the way you want to maneuver from side to side. Also, this can be a stretch, a dynamic stretch in itself. It's just that twisting movement over and back, changing from, from side to side. Again, you want to do a minute on each side twice. Once you've done that, guys, and you feel your hips open up a little bit more, then you can turn as shown, opening up your hips internally and externally, trying to stay upright. Then, guys, you'll be ready to squat in a better position and you'll feel more loosened up.